Para humupa yung duda. Para humupa yung duda ng tao. Why do you think the Comelec is being difficult? We, in spite of all the people and, it's, and uh, all the different groupings coming to them saying, dapat ganito, ganyan. Si George Balagtas nga, last week sabi niya, bigyan na lang natin muna sa UN para walang duda-duda. <laughs> no, I mean, whatever, di ba? But bakit ayaw makisama ang Comelec? Tingin nyo. Kanino may kasama? Sa MAB? No. Ah, we, will, we, will, so MAB. we will be institutionalizing a MAB rule here. Oh. Hindi See, pwede there's yun. another point of view. Is yes. it a MAB? Ay, hindi. Yung nag-alok ng parallel count, hindi MAB yun. Mga business technical yun. Te technical, eh. technical groups yun. Hindi mm -hmm. naman doomsayers based on technical, based on uh, business models. It cannot be physically possible. They're pointing out in real terms, di ba? Mga uh, even in business, nila. Harry, sound practice yung random sampling eh. I'm still uh, no, linking. For validation, eh. I'm still linking your, uh, no, your problem question on what would happen if Noy Noy loses. The, it's the same thing, eh. perception. Eh. Ni, the perception of the people is, kasi nadala na sila ng surveys, tsaka ng media, na nauna nga si Noy Noy. Natalo ngayon si Noy Noy. Ito pinag-uusapan natin ngayon. There are two sides of the coin when it comes to the common act. It's not just us. It's the general perception. Makinig ka lang sa AM radio, makikinig ka sa mga text messaging, mga pumapasok. Unless, yeah, nasisinangaling yung mga host na yun, which I doubt naman, binabasa na Manila. But the question is, are these people who are sending text messages, are they in the know? Are they in the know? Are they credible? What no, that doesn't even, they that doesn't, if that doesn't even come to play because that doesn't even question the integrity yet. The point is, the general perception based on media, is it illi is it irresponsible media because we promote yes, what is incorrect? Yes, yes. So it's yes, irresponsible yes. media. It's so respons really, the one who's making the biggest fault here is media, it not is necessarily the Comelec, not necessarily Ampatuan, not all of them. It's media. Irresponsible <laughs> journalism. Ari, we call that. Alam mo, sa diplomacy, may tinatawag na confidence building measures, CBM. No? Sa palagay ko, nagkukulang yung side ng Comelec sa pag-build ng confidence. Defensive sila, hindi sila so, proactive. Kasi kung inalaw nila yung parallel count, na, gamot yan dun sa sinasabi mong problema eh. Yung parallel. The Ito perception na eh. will go down. Ito na lang sasabihin ng Comelec. Uh, hindi aggregate ha, one hour lang each lang kayo sa TV. Yung mga posters, hindi pwede ko saan-saan. Come on, wherever we drive, lahat ng puno, nakadikit ang yellow ribbon o, o orange ribbon. Lahat ng mga posters, nakalagay sa mga puno ah hindi na yung mga poste at yung mga bahay-bahay. It's not just in area. It's everywhere, not just area. Everywhere. Yeah, come on. Let's face it. I, I see it every day. I go to the provinces. Mas lalo sa norte. Try driving in the north. My gosh. It's literally everywhere. Now, sasabihin ng Comelec, ne, bawal yan. E, yun na nga eh. So, again, the institution is being questioned for its ability to even follow the basic rules and the rules that they create. Much less proclaim at the end who is to be given that mandate. If, jury, alam mo, ang tao nagsisinungaling at nahuhuli o yung tao nagsasabi, gagawin kito, gagawin kyan, walang nagawa, six years na nakalagay dyan, wala pa rin ginawa. Tapos babalik naman, sabihin niya, butohin mo uli ako, andyan dyan. You know, hindi na paniniwalaan ng tao eh. Ang Comelec parang ando doon eh. Hindi, hindi nila ma... They cannot control postering. They cannot control advertising. They cannot control... You know, ang dami eh. Di ba? Ang dami lumalabas eh. So, we are going to give this institution that fails in its, what, integrity or what you call perception as in being able to police it. They be the one to give the mandate and proclaim the leaders of our country. Naku, nakakata. Still, when does perception still, come in an institution I again? Still, I will not blame the Comelec. Because the Comelec has so vast a power. You're it, right. We it, shouldn't. Because that's the institution. Always, yeah. It, it's the army, the police that implements the rules promulgated by the Comelec. I agree with you, doctor. I agree with you 100%. The problem is... So the military or police can get all those uh, posters in the posts uh, or in the trees that are hanging there, as you have said, which you saw in, in the... It's north. all over. It's not me. You all see it. Yeah, so it's <laughs> you now, all see it. It's now our role uh, mm. to prod the Comelec, to prod likewise the police and the military. When to you drive down, around, Frank, when down. you drive around, especially when dusk comes, 
Don't you see them taking out posters and putting on new ones? Don't you see it? I see it all the time. Yeah, pare pare mga apelido. So what we should do is stop and then tell him. Dynasty daw, dynasty. But we should stop and then we should stop our cars or when we're walking, tigil, oy, bawal yan, tigilin mo yan. Dapat ganun ang gawin natin. As a people. No, no, no. That's your surpassion. We have no police authority. Let the police do that. We will be sorry. Kaya minsan yung police ang naglalagay. Eh, baka sabihin naman, nagpupulis-pulisan tayo. Hindi, yung police mismo nakikita mo naglalagay. Yung mga sasakyan nila, government, red plates eh. Sila mismo nagtatanggal. Remember, yung mga mayors are part of this election. The mayors, the governors are part of this very election. They're the ones who have control of the machinery, literally. The cars and what not going around, putting up posters, taking down the ones of their competitors to put theirs up. In the morning, the competitors will come put theirs down and put There's up. Di ba parang ganun eh? Now, we are supposed to go back and say the institution, the COMELEC, is the one who is the rightful position, institution to claim the mandate when they themselves cannot police, refuse to police, or at least with the perception of inability to police. The very rules that they come up with. Correct me, but we still see it on TV. Kung naman, inikutan lang natin. Bawal na yung one hour. Anong ginawa nila? Didikit ako ngayon sa senador ko. Kami ka dito. Siya yung ano, didikit lang ako. Di ba parang, come on man, linulokong taong bayan eh. Di, di ba? And that's the very same institution that cannot even police that who's gonna tell us, ito ang panalo. So syempre, at the end of the day, si Noynoy na talo, sasabihin niya, pwede ba? Ano ako, papaloko? Mag-aantay ako three years? You want me to go to the presidential electoral tribunal? In that time, it's already six years later. Uh, still, diba? still, if you can, if you can read the data trail Still that is not a failure Perhaps laxity of the enforcement But not a failure I think we should end with that note Ladies and gentlemen uh, Again Well I don't know I, I, I think we have brought out Some analytical points of views uh, As to what is right And what is wrong uh, There will be no commitment or There will be no pointing to who's who uh, Before we end um, Dr. Frank Grego, your message to our viewers. Well, my message, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is that we should not try to look for some failures. Let's not try to look for some faults. But we should do our best to correct the failure and to correct the fault instead of trying to find the faults and criticize and criticize without offering a solution to what we are criticizing. Because that's destructive criticism. When we criticize, we offer a solution to what we're criticizing. And that is constructive criticism. That's all, friends, and good night. Thank you very much. We have Kai E. King, Senyaras. Your message? Well, first I have to deny the accusation that I'm a doomsayer. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm an analyst, okay? Okay. I cite technical and practical data, no? I am not out to destroy the Comelec. I love this country too, Harry, and I agree with you that we should work towards nation building. I do not talk to distract, I talk to build. Ang, ang, ang request ko lang sana na yung Comelec, harapin nila yung katotohanan. Huwag nilang iwasan. Kasi, hindi naman empty accusation to eh. Actually, friendly warning pa nga ito eh. Di ba? Now, dapat tanggapin nila yung friendly warning at hanapan nila ng paraan. Di ba? Ako, I'm just one man. But for the record, I think I'm the only one who answered their challenge to hack them. Naghamon sila eh. Sabi nila, i-hack nyo kami. So, tinanggap ko yung challenge nila. Sumulat ako, registered mail ha. Sabi ko, tinanggap ko yung challenge nyo. I-hack ko kayo. Hindi naman sila sumagot. Diba? Hmm. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the reason we bring you this show is to help you understand all the different issues that may, the word is M-A-Y, come into play. Now, at least you've heard the different scenarios. You've heard, you've heard the different points of views. Now, don't be swayed at the end of the day and say to yourself, hindi ko alam Hindi ko naiintindihan eh. Well, that's why we are putting all these hard issues on the table. It is uncomfortable sometimes to discuss in detail what is right, what is true, what is correct. 
because there are always so many considerations that come into play. We have a democracy we all have to protect. We have an institution.